When you think of Porsche, what comes to mind first? The sleek curves of the 911, the sound of a high revving engine, or maybe the brand's racing pedigree. The first things that probably come to mind when you hear the name Porsche are sleek, fast sports cars, the famous 911, and Porsche's long history in racing. But Porsche's deep-seated obsession with a certain type of engine, the boxer engine, is one of the most defining and, some might say, most underrated parts of its DNA. For cost, simplicity, or packaging reasons, most automakers have switched to inline or V-shaped engines for a long time now. But Porsche has happily stuck with the boxer engine design for more than 80 years. So, what makes the boxer engine so unique? And why does Porsche care so much about it even though it's hard to use? The answer lies in a special mix of engineering theory, history, and driving dynamics that are in line with what the company stands for. We're going to look into why Porsche has been in love with the boxer engine for so long. What does a boxer engine do? We need to know what a boxer engine is before we can talk about Porsche's relationship with it. An internal combustion engine makes power by squeezing and lighting a blend of fuel and air in its cylinders. The arrangement of these cylinders is very important to how the engine works, how it acts, and how it fits in a car. Some common cylinder shapes are all of the cylinders in an inline engine are lined up in a row. V engines have cylinders set up in two banks, making a V shape, flat, horizontally opposed engines. The cylinders are laid flat in two banks that are opposite each other and face each other. One kind of flat engine is the boxer engine. A boxer engine is different from a regular flat engine because its pistons move in sync with each other. Each pair of opposing pistons moves in and out at the same time, like a boxer punching with both hands. This makes a perfect balance of forces that are at odds with each other, which cancels out waves and makes things smoother. It's interesting that Porsche did not come up with the boxer engine. It was first patented by Carl Benz in 1896. He was one of the founders of the automobile business. Benz never thought of the kinds of performance uses that Porsche would later explore, but his idea set the stage for a completely new way of designing engines. In the 1930s, Ferdinand Porsche, the clever engineer who would later start the company that bears his name, started making cars with a boxer plan. The Volkswagen Beetle, a car he made for the German government as a people's car. Volkswagen in German, was the most important thing he did with the boxer engine. The Beetle's air-cooled flat four engine was easy to use, reliable, and small, which made it great for the back engine layout. The Type 64, Porsche's first sports car, also had a flat engine, which showed how committed the company would become to the design. When Porsche became a real company in 1948, its first production model, the Porsche 356, kept the rear engine, air-cooled boxer design. With cars like the 550 Spider, 912, and the now famous 911, this design philosophy lived on. Each of these cars made the boxer engine better known and more powerful. Porsche's dedication to the boxer engine isn't just a matter of nostalgia. There are many technical advantages to this design that make it perfect for high-performance cars, like the ones Porsche makes. Boxer engines are lower in the engine bay than inline or V engines because the cylinders are laid out flat. This drops the car's center of gravity, which makes it more stable and quick when turning corners. Body roll is lessened, and responsiveness is improved when the center of gravity is lower. This makes the car feel more stable and linked to the road. When two pistons move in opposite ways at the same time, they cancel each other out. This natural balance makes the engine run more smoothly, with less vibration and with less mechanical stress. These are all great qualities for going at high speeds and for long-term durability. Porsche's flat-six engines are known for being very smooth, which lets them run at high RPMs without any problems. In most of their cars, especially the 911, Porsche puts their boxer engines over the rear axle. This shape makes traction much better, especially when speeding up. Because the engine's weight is pushing down on the driven wheels, they have more grip, especially when it's wet or snowy outside. Before automatic traction control and all-wheel drive systems, this was a clear performance advantage. It's one reason why early 911s were so powerful and notoriously hard to handle at speed. The 911 still handles differently than other cars because the engine is in the back. Skilled drivers can take advantage of this. Engines in the back don't just help with speed. The back-biased weight distribution 
makes it easier to use the rear brakes when stopping. In the past, one of the best things about the Boxer engine was that it could be used with air cooling. The flat shape and space between the cylinders made it easy for cool air to get to each combustion chamber. This was especially helpful before liquid cooling, when keeping things simple and light was very important. Porsche kept its engines cool with air for longer than almost any other car company. With the 911, 996, they finally switched to liquid cooling in 1999. Up until that point, the air-cooled flat six had come to represent the brand's dedication to simple engineering. Audi fans still love the way air-cooled Porsche 911s, especially the last model, the 993, feel like a real machine. Why don't more people use boxer engines? It might be hard to believe that boxer engines aren't used more often in cars with all of these benefits, but there are a number of problems with this configuration that make most makers choose something else. It costs more to develop and make boxer engines. The engine needs two cylinder heads, two valve trains, and more complicated cooling and oiling systems because the cylinders are on opposite sides. Putting them together, tuning them, and fixing them all take more work than with easier inline engines. Some engine bays don't have enough room for boxer engines because they are flat and wide. It affects the design of the front crash structure and makes it harder to put suspension or steering parts in. Boxer engines aren't good for most makers who want engine designs that can be changed and made bigger or smaller. It can be hard to get to parts in a horizontally opposed engine, especially in the rear engine bay, where everything is packed in close together. Changing spark plugs, adjusting valves, or replacing gaskets can become more difficult and take more time which can raise the cost of long-term upkeep. Even with these problems, Porsche still supports the Boxer engine. It's not because it's simple or inexpensive, but because it fits with their unwavering commitment to making the best cars. What's new with Boxer engines at Porsche? Today, Boxer engines are still proudly used in Porsche cars in 2025. The most famous example is the 911, which still has a flat six engine placed in the back. This engine has changed a lot over the years, adding turbocharging, direct fuel injection, and more modern electronic controls. But the basic structure has stayed the same. To pay homage to the 356 and 914 models that came before, even the smaller Porsche 718 Cayman and Boxster models now have turbocharged flat four engines. Some purists are sad that these entry-level sports cars no longer have naturally aspirated flat six engines. However, the flat four engine still has the Boxer engine's main features, such as a low center of gravity, balanced dynamics, and unique engine sound. What's going to happen? What's next for the Boxer engine? As more things become electric, the internal combustion engine, which includes Boxers, is having a hard time staying alive. Governments all over the world are putting in place stricter rules on emissions, and automakers are spending billions of dollars to create electric vehicles, EVs. Porsche is no different. The all-electric Taycan was already released by the company, and more electric cars are on the way. Porsche says the 911 will have a gas engine for as long as possible, but it will be removed or converted to electricity at some point. This means that the Boxer engine will no longer be used in new cars. But instead of being sad about its final end, we should be proud of the amazing engineering and passion it shows. The engine in a Boxer is more than just a piece of machinery. It shows that Porsche is always focused on speed, balance, and making cars fun to drive. It shows a way of thinking that values driver involvement more than making money or making things easily. The Porsche obsession with the Boxer engine is not an accident or a nostalgic whim. It is a lasting passion that is worth admiring. It's the result of decades of hard work, brilliant engineering, and a strong commitment to driving perfection. The Boxer engine has a low center of gravity even power delivery, great traction, and smooth operation, all of which are performance benefits that fit the brand's image exactly. While most car companies switched to engines that were easier and cost less, Porsche stuck with a design that is very important to the company. It paid off by making some of the most famous and adored sports cars ever. We are about to enter a new era in cars, where electric motors will rule and engine layouts will be relics. The Boxer engine, on the other hand, is a reminder of a great age of mechanical artistry. Porsche didn't just stick with the Boxer engine, they made it better. It doesn't matter if you've always loved Porsches or are just starting to learn about car tech. Take a moment to appreciate the Boxer engine for what it is, a legacy. If you enjoyed this deep dive and want to see more car content like this, from engineering breakdowns to automotive history, hit that subscribe button and join the ride.